Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an off-the-cuff Tuesday episode or Tuesday clip or whatever you want to call it video on Eternal Evolution. I'm going to call this a, it's a, like a new segment. It's going to be called post-launch summary-ish, right? Post-launch final thoughts. I'll come up with something for the thumbnail later. But uh, Jane has been out for uh, just under a week now. And uh, I always do my uh, hero deep dive the day that they launch because everybody wants to know how to gear them and are they good, should they pull them, whatnot. And I figured it would behoove me or it would uh, it would be a good um, episode or a good video to discuss um, my thoughts on the character one week out where most of the gear has kind of been sorted. We know if she's good here, here, there, not, she's not good, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's uh, let's dive right in again. This is the, the deep dive round two with Jaina. First again, I want to get a look at this animation. Because it is sexy. Boom. Don't know who those were in the spaceship, but uh, I feel bad for them. Okay, so Jaina. Let's see. I don't know if I have uh, equipment on her. I do not. Okay, but I can kind of use this this little palette here to discuss gear. So the, the best gear set for her is uh, Surge with uh, Sun Signet because she is a crit-based hero. Uh, you want to get uh, rough. She gets a little bit of crit from talents. So you want, I'd say, about 80% crit rate on your gear. You also want 200 accuracy because all of her damage is based on accuracy. And Surge, which uh, benefits uh, AoEs, which she has a lot of, is the best gear set otherwise now for pvp you can run a light gap set but she's got a lot of uh, inherent energy regeneration capabilities so i say just go with, keep a surge i have actually deleted the burst uh, set uh, loadout on my main account for Jaina, but that doesn't mean that burst isn't good burst is better in like areas like sincero marsh so okay so gear sets best definitive gear set surge plus sun signet um, crit build. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, let's discuss other places. So this footage that I'm going to pull up. Let's see if I can go 1080p. Let's go over to the other window. Now we're going to talk about PvP first. So if you've been watching my Summit Arena PvP videos, you know that she is an absolute monster in PvP. Like hands down, just a beast so i pulled this um, from one of my summon arenas uh, let's make sure the sound is off so you don't hear my commentary over it but it's a quick fight but i just want to watch you to watch Jaina. she's in the bottom corner watch her as soon as she goes what she's going to do to that enemy team and she is an anti-summoner team um we have been fooled into thinking that there's oh and wham whole team's dead whole team's dead boom so that enough said Enough said. We have been fooled. We have had characters released in the past with anti-summoner um, synergies built into their kits. I'm looking at you, Rosaris, who it didn't really pan out. It didn't really hard counter summoners. Now, Jaina with her kit, it, it is definitively um, concluded and proven that, yes, she is the anti-summoner for PvP. And she replaces Ravenna on the energy PvP team and is unequivocally better in, in every way than Ravenna. And she is a summoner monster killer. <laughs> summoner killer. She's a monster summoner killer. There we go. Okay. So that's PvP. PvP is, yes, she's great. Um, she's, I don't know if I would, rank, if I'm going to rank her 1 out of 10 for a PvP hero. I'm going to, I'm going to say like a Nord is a 10. Um, I, I'm going to say like Ampu is a nine because of all the stuff baked into his kit. I'm going to give her an eight. That's just my gut, uh, ranking off the, off the cuff ranking for her, uh, for PVP. So now let's close this out. And I got some, uh, other, well, let's talk about PVE now. So this is my guild discord. Now, Jaina for guild hunt. And this is Spider 7. So um, the difference being that uh, in in up to 7, you want to run uh, Skewer for the attack buff. But then you're going to need a healer later on. So you're going to slot in Miranda after 7. So what is that 7? 10 and 13. 10 and 13? 10 and 13. Right? 
But Jaina is now the uh, unequivocal uh, best meta hero for Spider Boss in Guild Hunt. You can see from the numbers, I don't know if I can blow this up. I think, uh, no, I can't. I can only make it smaller. But um, let's see, can you see Nord? You sure can. 5.2 damage, 5.2 million damage from Nord. Uh, Luke down here, not even a billion, or 5.2 billion. Luke, not even a billion. Jaina, 14.8 billion damage. Now, the new strategy, which uh, we do have a guide in here. I'm just going to scroll really quickly. If you guys can actually uh, slow that down and screenshot that, good for you. You can have it. But uh, right now, that is revolution proprietary knowledge. Um, you do want to pair uh, Rez with Jaina in the midline. Leave uh, Nord up front by himself and then have uh, Skewer uh, and Luke in the back. So that is spider number seven. Again, keep in mind you're going to want Miranda for later spider bosses. Uh, but uh, you also have to equip bug gear. The bug smasher, bug killer, bug stomper gear, whatever it was called from the Thundercliffs. You're going to need it on Nord, Luke, uh, and Jaina specifically. So you're going to want to run her in Guild Hunt with a two-piece bug squasher i don't think that's what it's called but i'm calling it bug squasher let's just call it bug gear and then to get the rest of your crit you're going to probably run two sun signets unless you can find some superb superb surge set with just monster uh crit rate um substats in order to get your that 80 you know percent crit rate so pve guild hunt she is a key hero for the spider boss which uh elevates her greatly and given the fact that she does so much damage versus nord i'm gonna have to give her a 10 for guild hunt yep so she gets an 8 for pvp i'm giving her a 10 for guild hunt pve and now let's discuss some story so i on this is my Jaina. um i started at like i don't know i think i was like 56 10 so I and I just threw this team in on on auto and Jaina just carries this team. She her ability to hit the the enemies in the back line. You see right there, um, Leo, Nord, Rez, Miranda and Jaina. Um, yeah, it's it's killer. It's killer. She's really good. She, she allowed me to get way, 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 way up there in story. Uh, to the point now where I think I am on the board as being first for story mode in my server. So, uh, very, very good. It just, like, yeah, like her ability just to, to clear the board of the backline enemies because so many people have so much issues in story mode and say soul mine with the characters in the back just nuking them down, right? So, Leo, kind of a sacrificial lamb. Um, to, he keeps all the heat off of Nord till Nord gets rolling. And then Jaina just lays into them just laces them the whole time so for story mode um right now since i'd say that nord is still the king like uh, and this just goes on and on i just let it record but if i back it up a bit and then turn my head off you see nord is still the king 84 million damage but um i, I didn't put luke or anybody in here but Jaina at x32 by the way mine's x30 she, her damage, you know, obviously not even half a Nord, but her ability just to kill people in the back, and there's always squishies in the back, her ability just to nuke them down just makes her a key character on a, uh, a story campaign mode team. So, for story campaign mode, I'm going to give her like a 7, because really that team's got a lot of synergy, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of moving parts in that, she's not the one that's carrying the team, it's still... Um, Rez and Nord. Uh, Leo has a place as like a sacrificial lion. <laughs> I was going to say lamb. Uh, and then Jaina, yeah, she definitely has a place, but she's not the uh, the linchpin of that team. So if I'm giving her like a 7 for story mode, PvE, I'm giving her a 10 for guild hunt PvE, and then an 8 for PvP. Uh, yeah, she is, a, she is an essential character. So uh, guys, refer to my deep dive uh, on her if you want to dive in more deeply to the kit. And uh, we'll go over a couple different gear options. But uh, Jaina is a very, very welcome 
addition to Eternal Evolution. All I got to say is, sorry, Ravenna. Um, you've been replaced. Uh, love her. Absolutely love her. So I'm going to keep trying to do this video segment. You guys let me know if you if this w offered any sort of information that was helpful in any way. Uh, but uh, I think that it is. it does make sense for me to come back one week after release and just to uh, talk about heroes because... Um, like you saw, if you guys watch Gameplay Horizons, uh, you'll notice that he runs a Herald set on Barag, which I have added that to my spreadsheet. That is uh, pretty clever. So there are things to be learned after release. So as such, I thought that this video segment was prudent. So till next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this right now. Uh, the patch notes drop tonight for the update on Thursday. Nordwen. Nordwen. Better be Nord, and it better be a giant tower, because, uh, like, why drop Jaina if you're not giving people a chance to actually make the whole team, which is so killer in PvP? Nord has to drop tomorrow. If it doesn't, uh, I'm going to be a sad panda. So, the word of the day, or the safe word of the day for this video is going to be basically two words. Battle Angel, because that's what this baby is. Uh, I love her. Uh, Battle Angel, put that in the comments below, and I'll thank you profusely. So, till next time, cheers, peace, take care, everyone. Later. <laughs>